Now, in other headline news, the Ministry of Labor and representatives of employee and labor organizations are participating in a conciliation slash negotiation training skills workshop. The program, which opened on Monday, will continue over the next few days at the Bryson's Business Complex. Larissa Francis tells us more. President of the Antigua and Barbuda Employers Federation, Acre Stowe, says the workshop is long overdue and will be beneficial to all involved. Stowe says it's a historic occasion as the forum brings together representatives from all the various tripartite organizations. It is very unusual that at a seminar like this, we would have all three bodies. And it is very uh, creative, I should say, albeit it is something that we would like to have done in the future very, very much more often because at the end of the day, these are difficult times. And to have a situation where we require interaction for conciliation, we require interaction for negotiation of all three parties, it is very much incumbent on us to insist that this forum is proliferated at every juncture and every moment that we get the opportunity to do so. ILO Senior Specialist for Employers Activities, Anne Knowles, expressed pleasure over the commencement of the workshop as her organization focuses on working along with groups to better conditions in the working world. Knowles says participants are urged to be very interactive as they will be asked to play some key roles. I hope that you are interactive because that's the whole purpose of this, not just us to talk at you. There will be a number of role plays where you might be out of your comfort zone because we will be asking you to take different positions in your discussions so that you get a feel for how it is that in a workplace different issues arise and how they are to be addressed. We also hope that you will ask many questions that you might have and certainly engage over the next three days. Minister of Security and Labor, the Honorable Earl Court, says it is necessary for stakeholders to understand the directions of the department is taken in dealing with certain issues and be trained accordingly. So I'm pleased that we are now able to continue this process in terms of this conciliation workshop. You probably may be aware that we have changed our approach. We are no longer writing these uh, lengthy reports. The reports are now uh, pretty short, and we need to make sure that everybody is on board. I recall the first report that was written uh, post the conciliation uh, workshop that we had in December. I was hauled over the coals by um, someone representing an employee, saying, but uh, look at this report. There's nothing in this report. It's void of substance, and we cannot accept that. Well. In truth and in fact, I think that the uh, complaint had some merit in terms of the actual content of the report. But I think the individual missed the point in terms of what we were trying to do in reshaping how we actually uh, do the conciliation reports. So bringing the key stakeholders, employers and employees, employers and employees through their unions together, all will be on the same page in respect of how these reports are to be written. Dr. Cart says he's challenged as Minister of Labor with all the backlog of cases at the department. He has brought on three new conciliators and three mediators and notes that while it is slowly edging down, a radical approach to the issue is needed. The minister charges those present to find a solution among them on how the build-up can be reduced, noting that the cooperation of all stakeholders is important. Larissa Francis reporting for ABS News.